Hi, Nick again with another Photoshop tutorial. Uh, this one's a little bit more advanced. It's rotoscoping a, a lightsaber into an image. Uh, in, in addition to doing that, I'll show you how to uh, record what you do into an, an action. So you can easily recall it and apply it to multiple frames if you want to do a lightsaber animation. It just saves a whole lot of time. So. All right, let's start out. Uh, you can see here this is a screen capture of Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and we'll put a lightsaber into her hands instead of uh, the sword. So you're going to start out by choosing the Polygon Lasso tool, and you will roughly go over the shape of the sword. Don't have to really be uh, perfect as long as you're not going on the inside of the sword there. You're going to notice I'm going a little bit past the hilt I'll go over for the reasons why a little bit later. For now you're going to do a rough rectangle around that uh, that sword there. Now's the time to actually record this into an, an action so you can recall it if you want to do it to another frame. Uh, go to the action tabs here. You'll see you have a lot of default actions. What you will do is hit this dialog here, left click on it. That's off the frame so I'll bring it over and click on new action. I'm gonna name this action lightsaber and hit record. Now anything we do to this image will be recorded onto this action. Alright, first off uh, you're gonna do a new layer so go to the layer tool, hit new layer, hit OK and now we're going to modify the selection. So hit select, hit refine edge, and a dialog will pop up here. First off, uh, the easiest way to do this, I think, is to go to this viewing mode. It's basically just black on white. Uh, it shows it a lot easier. You're going to have a multitude of options here. Um, we'll start out with radius up here. We can just leave radius where it's at. Uh, Putting contrast down to zero is usually best. Uh, the big important thing here is smooth right here. So basically smooth it out until the tip is rounded there. Uh, feather don't need that. And contracts or contract uh, expand. Uh, you'll use this toolbar if your selection's a little bit too big or, or small. For now, we'll just leave it the way it is. Actually, we'll reduce it a little bit. OK, hit OK. Now we are going to go to the Edit tool, go to Fill, and you'll use white. Just fill it up with white there. Alright, now is the time to make the glow for the lightsaber. What we're going to do first, though, is choose what color for the lightsaber you want. It's already set to red. Uh, I'll make this lightsaber green. So hit OK. Now go to your top layer, right-click it, go to blending options you're going to choose outer glow and inner glow so let's choose outer glow first first you choose the blending mode always use normal for this the default should be on screen but use normal opacity is going to default to 75 percent uh, 75 is usually pretty good so we'll leave it there Here's the noise bar. I usually set noise to about 3%. It just seems to blend into the image a little bit better that way. All right, now you choose the color. So just click uh, the color box there. Use your eyedropper tool to select green and hit OK. Now is technique. Uh, leave it at soft and set the size to what looks right. Uh, you can see it, you can go small or large. Uh, for this image, probably about 21 is pretty good. All right, that's all you need to do. Uh, now you go to the inner glow. Again, set it to normal. Keep opacity to 75%. Noise to about 3%. Let's choose the color. I drop to green. Uh, technique at softer should be pretty good too. Uh, let's bring that up there a little bit. Set the size to, you, you can see that it's very sensitive to size. Uh, set the size to somewhere around there is pretty good. Uh, 
to help out with this too we can we can uh modify our range as well you can see that range will soften or harden it up a bit so let's keep the range to about 75 percent all right hit ok and there you have it you have your lightsaber there now what we'll want to do to our top layer is convert to smart object and then rasterize layer that's off screen I can show you where that is and what this does it's going to rasterize your your layer into a regular layer with no blending options so you can uh, modify it any way you want at this time I would stop recording our action also so go over to the stop button right there and just stop the action now you've recorded your lightsaber now before you recall that I said go past the hilt just a little bit the reason why is because uh, you're gonna have that glow right, right there that just won't look right so hit the uh, eraser tool you can leave it any size you want and uh, make the hardness a bit hard there alright and now just erase it so it looks good we'll erase it to about right there alright all you need to do now is go to your layers and flatten image and there you have it you have a lightsaber now remember I said that we recorded this into an, an action and you can make it apply to multiple frames to make a, an animation if you want or you can put it to another picture let's go ahead and do that here we have a picture of a, an 18th century guy with a, another saber we'll view it at a hundred percent alright so again just start out with a selection go a little bit past uh, where the blade meets the hilt nothing fancy you just need to make a rectangle alright all you simply need to do now is highlight lightsaber here and push play and voila you have a lightsaber again all we have to do now is to erase that right there and then go layer flatten image and there you have it this guy has a lightsaber